Hello, pupils. Come back again to Madam Day Mathematics class. We are going to learn about multiplication. I'm going to combine the lesson for year four and year five. Multiply number by one digit number. For example, 4,608 times 6. So, if you want to do multiply, you have to remember this. Okay, next one, you need to write in the vertical form. Tulis dalam bentuk lazim. Okay, so now, we start from the ones place. We have to multiply, start from the ones place. Okay, six times eight. All right, so you find the answer in the table on the right side. Six times eight. So this is six and eight. 6 times 8 is here. 48, right? So, I have to write 48 like this. I have to write 8 here. And 4, I regroup at the 10th place. Okay? After that, 6 times 0, 6 times 0 is 0, okay? Remember, whatever number times with 0, you will get 0. Nombor apa-apa darab dengan 0 akan dapat 0. So, 6 times 0 is 0. After that, you have to plus 4. 0 plus 4 is 4, Okay? Then continue, 6 times 6. Alright, now go back to the table again. 6 here and then another 6 is here. So 6 times 6, I circle this number, 36. So now 36, I have to write 6 here. And the three I regroup at the thousand place. Okay. And last one, six times four. Six times four again. You check the table. Six, six is here. And times four. Okay. So I circle the number 24. All right. So now, 24, I have to plus with the 3. So, 24 plus 3 is 27. Okay? Okay, now the same question. Now, I want to use another method to calculate the answer. Sekarang saya nak guna cara kedua untuk mengira jawapan bagi soalan tadi. Okay, so now I have to draw a table like this. Okay, after that I have to draw a line. Okay, the line like this. For every square, I have to draw the line like this. Okay. After that, I have to write for the question, right? Four, six, zero, eight. Okay. Times six. Write six here. Okay. So, same with just now. You need to refer to the table. If you can memorize the times table, you no need to refer to the table. Kalau anda dah boleh hafal, 
anda tak bo, tak payah tengok table di sebelah kanan. Okey? Paling bagus anda dah boleh hafal. Kalau tak boleh hafal sifir, awak kena rujuk jadual ini. Alright. Now, I want to start to multiply now. Okey. Untuk ini, tak semestinya kamu mula dari tempat once. Okay. So, now you can choose any place you want to fill in. Kamu boleh pilih petak mana-mana yang kamu suka. For example, I want to choose zero first. I want to choose zero first. Okay. Zero times six. Remember just now I said zero times with any numbers will get back zero. So, for this one, it's zero, right? So, look at me how to write zero. Zero and zero. Okay? Tulis macam ni ya. Zero, zero. After that, I choose four. Four times six. Four times six. So, four times six. Cari dalam sini. Four times six here. 24. So, I write 2 and 4. Next one, I want to fill in 6 times 6. So, 6 times 6 is here. 36. So, 3, 6. And then the last one, 8 times 6. 8 times 6 is here 8 times 6 okay 48 so 4 8 now after you fill in the multiplication facts now you need to do addition selepas isi CV dah siap CV sekarang awak kena buat addition tambah okay tambah ikut lorong Garisan biru adalah lorongnya. Okay? So, lorong pertama. The first row here. Okay? 8 only right. So, means that 8. Tulis di bawah. 8. And then, lorong kedua. So, ada 4 dengan 0 kan? So, means that 4 plus 0. 4 plus 0, we get 4. Okay, so I write 4 here. Lorong ketiga, 0 plus 6. So, plus. 0 plus 6, what is that? 6. And continue the next one. 3 plus 4. 7. And the last one, 2 only. So, I write here 2. So, this is the answer for this question, 27,648. This method, we call it as lattice method. Cara ini namanya lattice. Cara lattice. Let's look at the next question. 8147 times 8. So now I want to show you the vertical form first. Bentuk lazim dulu. You have to write like this. Now I'm not going to show the multiplication table. Okay. So I have to start from the ones place. 8 times 7. What we get? 8 times 7 is 56, 5, 6, 56. So I write 6 here and 5 on top. 5 regroup to 10 place. Okay, next one, 8 times 4. Okay, 8 times 4. Ingat ya, kita kena darab dengan 4 dulu. Times dengan 4 dulu. Yang atas warna merah tu untuk plus. Bukan untuk times ya. Okay. 8 times 4. What is that? 
What is the answer for 8 times 4? 32. So 32 plus 5. 32 plus 5? 37. Right? So 3, 7. 7 and then 3 regroup at the 100 place. Continue. 8 times 1. 8 times 1 is 8. So 8 plus 3 is 11. 11, 1, 1. So I write 1 and then 1 regroup. And the last one, 8 times 8 is 64. 64 plus 1. 64 plus 1, 65. So now I can write 65 because there, there is no number at the front. So this is the answer, 65,176. Let's look at lattice method. Sekarang kita tengok lattice method. Okay, buatkan petak macam ni. If four digit, if four digit, you draw four square. Okay? Kalau empat digit, lukis empat petak. Kalau lima digit, lukis lima petak. And then you have to draw the line. Okay, lukis garisan. Penjuru ke penjuru, like this. Setiap petak kena ada garisan macam ni. Okay. Then you fill in the question. Isikan soalan. 8147 times 8. Okay. Now, is free. You can choose which, which box that you want to fill in first. Awak bebas untuk pilih. Mana yang kamu nak isi dulu? Isikan si V. Okay? Tak semestinya mula dari petak yang hujung sekali. Anda boleh pilih mana-mana petak yang anda suka. Okay? Kalau saya, 1 is the easiest. Okay, 1 times 8, we get 8. Right? 1 times 8 dapat 8. So, I have to write 0, 8. Okay, 0, 8. Next one, I want to choose 4 times 8. 4 times 8, 32. So I have to write 3, 2. After that, I choose 8 times 8. 8 times 8, we get 64. 6, 4. And the last one, 7 times 8, 56. 56, 5, 6. Okay. After that, we need to do addition. Kita nak buat tambah. Tambah ikut lorong. Okay. The first one, digit 6 only, right? So, you write 6. And the second row, 5 plus 2, we get 7. Third row, 3 plus 8. 11. Okay. Be careful. Now, I cannot write 11 at the below. So, I have to regroup now. 11, 1, 1. So, I have to write 1 here. And then, another 1, I need to regroup here. Bawa satu tu kat depan. Okay. So, now, 0 plus 4 plus 1, 0 plus 4, 4, 4 plus 1, 5, and the last one, 6. So now you can compare, are the answer same? Adakah jawapan dia sama? Same, right? So it's up to you, you can choose which matter that you feel easier. Pilihlah cara yang kamu rasa Senang. That's all for today. Thank you.